The system consists of a PC that controls the handling mechanism and supervises the communication between the handler on one hand and the vision system, the motion system, and the programmable power supply on the other. The communication link between the PC and the motion controller inside the enclosure is implemented using USB interface. Between the PC and power supply is implemented using the RS232C interface. The PC-based handler uses a closed-loop positioning system in the form of a turntable used to position the device to be inspected underneath a color camera. Communication to the vision system is via TCP IP interface. Once the device under the test, DUT, is positioned under the camera, the Keyens XG7502 vision system acquires and analyzes the image of the cell and performs automatic visual inspection using built-in inspection algorithms. Inspection results are transmitted to the handler where a status light alerts the operator of the result of the inspection. After a successful machine initialization and homing operation, the system then turns on power to test the site. Power to the device is provided by a programmable power supply BK Precision 1785B. Once the required test voltage is reached, the machine is ready for use, as indicated by the lighted green bolt button on the right side of the turntable enclosure. The operator places the DUT in a test socket and presses the ready button. The turntable positions the DUT underneath the camera. Once the DUT is directly under the camera, two solenoid activated probes touch the terminals of the device to provide power to its electronics. The resulting electroluminescence from the DUT provides the lighting necessary for it to be visible to the camera. Using a color camera, the Keyence Vision System acquires an image of the DUT and analyzes the digitized image for electrical or cosmetic defects. There are two test sockets on the turntable. While one device is being inspected, the operator unloads the device already inspected and loads the next device to the test socket. After inspection, the vision system transmits the inspection result to the PC base controller which turns on the appropriate color-coded status light. The status light serves as a visual feedback to the operator if the device is good or falls into one of the reject classifications. The system supports three reject categories and one passing category. The machine control software displays the the statistical results of the inspection. Yield information is tabulated per reject categories on the run mode screen. Given the acquired image of the DUT, the first step in the inspection is to locate the device in the field of view. This is accomplished by detecting the edges of the device. Note that there is some positional tolerance in presenting the DUT to the camera. The vision system has to pre precisely locate the DUT to perform the inspection reliably. If there is enough electroluminescence so that the edges of the, of the cell are discernible, the vision system automatically inspects for such defects as poor luminescence and excessive luminescence on the surface and edges of the cell. The details of this decision are stated in the inspection specification provided by the customer. If the edges of the device cannot be detected due to insufficient light or absence of light in a defective unit, the condition is flagged by the system as a dead cell. The vision system displays a various level, level of inspection details to help the process engineer pinpoint why the unit was rejected. The process engineer can then adjust the acceptance thresholds to establish a stable separation between good and bad units. The Keyence XG7502 vision system provides a flexible programming platform to help end users develop their own inspection algorithms using built-in vision tools or custom tools developed by the user. An example of a custom tool is realizing using a script, a basic-like language, which is an integral part of the integrated development in Environment. It also offers a comprehensive menu editor that allows the user to develop custom graphical 
user interfaces.